Ready?
It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got the Titans rocket on quarterback. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Titans and the Hawks next on EA Sports. By many accounts, one of the most underrated home venues in all of the NFL resides in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee, and that's where we find ourselves at Nissan Stadium. It is week 16 in the NFL, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Tennessee Titans. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we take a look at this Titan ball club entering play. It's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. 23 yards on the play. Play action here on the first play from scrimmage. They want to see how the linebackers are going to react. Are they looking to stop the run? Or are they going to sit back in coverage? A really nice job there of going in attack mode early, and they pick up a quick first down. They'll run on first down. Spears, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. But Charles, as we've covered, they've already clinched their spot in the postseason, so now they just want to avoid adding any additional names to this list before the postseason begins. Terrific observation because trying to move up a, a spot, I don't know if it's worth it if you're trying to play guys who aren't quite right. Get them healthy, get ready for the playoffs, make your move then. Open man, Westbrook Aquino. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. You talk about this Seahawk defense. This unit, they're hoping to improve against the pass, because right now, Charles, number 27 in the NFL. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 24-yard line. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. If he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Now a play fake here on first down. And brought in downfield by Burks. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Let's go. They'll try to run this one in, and he gets in. Tajay Spears, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Titans are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to 
to do something even more impressive to answer that one. So quickly all the way up at the 40 yard line. Off play action. Cobb going deep for Hopkins. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there waiting to be intercepted. That looked doomed from the start. But they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. You talk about this Seahawk defense. This unit, they're hoping to improve against the pass because right now, Charles, is number 27 in the NFL. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because they know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get out of the way or chip away their timing. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then... The Titans now just about ready to take over. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Inside the 20. Touchdown, Titans. Nick Westbrook Aquino. His first touchdown on the year. And the Titans are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You can see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll search for another score as they begin here with a first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Cobb. Over the middle complete. That's Carter. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And as a quarterback, you're always pleased when you can use all the weapons at your disposal. Here he spots his fullback underneath, gets the completion right there for a nice pickup. They go play action here on first down. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, the good ones have a clock running in their head, okay? Because it says something like this. I've got this many seconds to find a target. After that, I have to tuck it and try and get some yardage on this first down snap. He doesn't just get some yards, though. He gets a big game, and they'll come right back with another first and ten. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. the play fake. Cobb. Dancing to his left. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. I think he had eyes on that run the whole time. Good anticipation because it seemed to me he waited for the coverage to get drawn away and then had the easy scamper out of bounds to get the short yardage first down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Got his man, a conqueror. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On the jump. 
So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Back to throw. Cobb. It's complete. Burks. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. And not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him and we'll step aside for a moment. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. It's the fullback, his second touchdown on the season. And the Titans are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. <laughs> yeah, it's been an app. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. And this is how you answer a touchdown the other end. You come out throwing to start your own drive. And not just throwing, but pushing it down the field. And they come up with a big play as they try to answer back with a score of their own. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Cobb. That one's taken in by Spears. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Second and seven. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the... The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. On first down, Spears. And he'll get a few yards here to the 34. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Back to throw. Cobb. Wesco, the tight end, making the catch. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Looking to throw. Cobb. And that's complete to Westbrook Akine. 
That one good for 20 on the catch and run. A big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Off play action, Cobb. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. Off the play fake, Cobb. That's to Burks, and he's got a touchdown, Tennessee. From 17 yards out. And the Titans are an extra point away from evening this one up. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, an extra point away from tying things up, that's exactly how they drew it up on the board. started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there in the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Back to throw. Cobb. And he's got his man on the out route. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gets him the first down. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Give him 32 on the play. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been ripped up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Looking to throw. Cobb. That'll be completed to Okonkwo. Touchdown! Chigakonkwo, 33 yards. And the Titans have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Titans offense now. They get ready to do battle again here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. On first and ten, Cobb. That's complete downfield to a conqueror. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 39 yards, the distance covered on the catch and run. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover and put their defense in a bad spot. But not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. 
So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Back to throw. Cobb. He gets this one to Burks. And a stiff arm made it a pretty little run. Not a huge gain, but a nice job the yardage. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on it. Flush to his right. Caught by his tight end, Wesco. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. They, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime and try and win it there. But, you know, sitting up here in the booth, Take some gambles. I, I say let's go for this thing, try and push it, and maybe catch the defense back on their heels a bit. See if they do that. Off play action. Cobb. Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Throwing on first down. They stop him with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Here we go, first and goal. And they'll try the option on first and goal. A good display of power, but ultimately it gets him just inside the five to the four and no further.
The Titans set and ready to go on offense. The silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective breath. It's the crowd holding its breath. And boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here at overtime. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call, but when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, keep giving it to them. That tells me you're mature as a play caller and it's working for them in overtime. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Offensively, back-to-back -back really nice plays. This defense had got two timeouts. Maybe he should burn one. Yeah, when you get back-to-back -back explosive plays, to me, anything over 10 yards, I don't care if it's a run or a pass, I count it as an explosive play. That sets your defense back on its heels. A timeout here would be a good idea and try and get himself settled because we're an OT. This is big time. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They'll look to throw again. And this will be caught. Touchdown! They needed overtime to get it done, but put this one in the win column. Normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And yeah, Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So for the Titans, the wins keep coming as this one moves them to 12-3 and three on the year. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, they fall under 500 now as they drop to 7-8. and eight. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. wait to watch some film from today. You're rolling now, boys! 